Can I just tell people that we are recording this so that anyone who's missed it can see it afterwards? And okay. uh, if that makes a difference to whether or not you want to show your picture or what you want to say, just bear that in mind. Thanks very much. Yeah, I thought you were going to say you're recording that in case anyone tries to attack me and it can be used in court. <laughs> <coughs> oh, there we go. Good morning, William. Right, so we're going to start with board one, which by and large was a con uh, was a contract this is my for burn, like an expert. we see north south have a 10 card heart fit uh, yeah. yeah i can hear you ever said that that's JTI. great um he was one of the teachers yeah if you're going to talk at home you should probably mute yourself before before you do that so we're in the majority of the people bid to four hearts if we look at the results it was by far the most popular contract but by but no means universal i would expect a common auction to be something like pass pass one heart double uh, and then north raises hearts um a word about the double i've seen quite a lot of people want to overcall two clubs on a hand like this double of a heart is automatic the absence of a fourth spade is not the end of the world you're playable in three strains and you have opening values and double gets that across how many hearts should north raise should north raise to well, I have to say, if you're playing five card majors, I would consider four hearts automatic. I think even playing four card majors, I'd probably have a go at it. But bear in mind, if you're playing a weak no trump and four card majors, then partner may have sort of a, a flat 15 or something, and bidding four hearts may just lead to a small minus score instead of a comfortable plus score. So if you did only bid three hearts as north, that's okay in the context of a weak no trump four card major system although i think this hand really shows up one of the benefits of five card majors in that you get to four hearts very quickly uh, should east bid over four hearts i have to say i wouldn't uh, um maybe if you were non-vulnerable against vulnerable you consider a cheeky four spades queen x of hearts is really the worst holding to have because you've normally got two quick losers and you have very little playing strength. However, if we check the results, we see the top score for East West was indeed four spades bid and made. Now I notice this because it looks like terrible defense from North South, but actually you have to have a bit of sympathy. South is on lead and leads his singleton ace of clubs. Um, it is hard now to get the best result. I mean, if for example, you play ace and another heart to try and force the West hand, Declare a good rough high, draw all the trumps, and they're up to nine tricks already. Uh, I think if you're defending spades as north south, you should bear in mind the old adage trump length leads strength, which says when you have four cards in the opponent's trump suit, you should be aiming to go for a forcing defense. A simple defense of ace and another heart, and the hand falls apart for east west, the best they can do is eight tricks. But still, even if it's doubled, and I see, uh, I'm pointing at my screen now, uh, I see three pairs played and four spades doubled by East West. That was only, that was 80 match points for North South, 72 for East West. So that was close to par. And it was about average for both sides. If we look at the play in a heart contract, you'll see you have two spades and a diamond to lose. But again, the 10 card fit makes the play very, very easy. Wouldn't you agree, Andrew Lobson? Yes, I would. That's my co-host, Andrew Lobson. Uh, <laughs> yes, I would. Um, so he can't talk, obviously, but you get the idea. Yeah, the 10 card fit makes it very easy. No defense to four hearts. A couple of people doubled it. Why not? We've got loads of points. A couple of people let through the over trick. That sounds like West has cashed two spades and then switch to a diamond, optimistically hoping partner's going to produce a high card there, which could be the right defense if South had the queen of spades and, and partner had the ace of diamonds, but it doesn't work today, I'm afraid. So do, it, do any of the audience have any tales of woe on this hand? No, you're all the people that bid sensibly and got a nice good result. Well, in that case, we shall move on to number two. How many hands were in this session, by the way? Is it 44? 
Yeah. I suspect we won't have time for 44. Uh, Sorry, Michael, could I just um, ask, if you're playing Weak No Trump and... Yes, um, you have to say your name off. first so I know who's talking. Ian Kemp. Hi, Ian, where are you calling from us today? Um, I'm, I'm calling from um, near Southampton, although I'm normally based in Ware in Hertfordshire. Okay, never heard of either of those places, but tell okay. us what you wanted to say. Okay, um, if, so if, you've, if you're playing um, Weak No Trump, yeah. Um, and um, partners opened a heart. Um, you've got a bit of a dilemma here because you don't feel weak enough to go to four hearts, but three hearts in standard Acol in an unopposed auction is strong. Um, I, I suppose you're relying right, so on the fact that you've got a limit raise showing about 10 or 11, yes. Yeah. So if, um, if opponents hadn't said anything, what would, what would you yeah. do? I would just raise to two hearts. Yeah. If I'm doing so. I mean, it's very likely if the auction goes pass, pass, a heart, pass, it is very, very likely that your partner has a reasonable hand. In fact, it's almost certain. But if you raise to two hearts, it will bid again. And now you can bid four hearts, which is a reasonable appreciation of playing strength. I mean, okay. you say it's, it's, did you say it was not weak enough for four hearts? I mean, the danger of bidding one no, heart. So not strong enough hearts. for four hearts. Yeah, the, the point yeah, you were you making. You don't quite have enough playing strength. Yes, is you just go one off when you can't make yeah. it. But yeah, if you were, I'd feel happy raising to two if they hadn't bid, especially when the hand on my uh, left is a passed hand. If it was just one heart passed, now I actually might consider four hearts because the hand on your left can easily be bullied into an indiscretion. Okay, thanks. Okay, mm -hmm. let's have a look at hand two, which looks quite exciting. North South is 5-5 five, five with 17 points, a really useful singleton king. Uh, north south can make three spades, east west can make three hearts. What does the traveller do? Good lord, the traveller of doom is all over the place as we would expect. Oh, but it's not nice and ordered as the previous one was. Don't really understand why. But if we scan the results, we see several people have bid and made four spades. In fact, quite a lot of people have bid and made four spades. And one pair got a cheeky 990 in there. Uh, can we see who that is? No, that's oh, not embarrassing, yeah. they're probably here. So why was everyone making four spades? Well, in order to beat four spades, what East-West have to do is make North rough. It looks like it takes the defense of leading hearts to make him rough and then lead another heart to make him rough. As if by magic, this hand backs up the previous claim I just made of trump length leads strength, which well, they might give you the impression I'd seen these hands before, but I haven't. Um, if we look at the people that made four spades, a club was led, so you might win that and take a spade finesse. East will win, perhaps play another club. You just draw trumps and knock out the ace of diamonds. So actually, it's no great, um, no great blunder by East West to let four hearts make, uh, to let four spades make it seems like on a natural sort of defense it might well do i mean alternatively you might need a diamond by east partner has to guess to duck that and then you need another diamond when you're in take a rough that's a pretty hard defense let's see what the leads first we have a club lead we have a diamond lead but that was an over trick diamond 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 di diamonds appear to be forever which is ironic because yesterday they showed on her majesty's secret service a heart was led. Oh, someone led an, a low heart to concede 990. Well, I'm afraid people that underlead aces, this hand is a perfect example of why you shouldn't. Um, if you're going to double it, I think probably you need to make better opening leads than that. Uh, club lead again. So, how might the bidding go? Again, a good hand for five card majors. You might have a simple. One spade, two spades, four spades. East leads a club, probably, or a diamond, but that's easy to make. Um, what alternative options might you have? Playing Akol, um, one spade pass, you might choose to respond to no trump. Uh, a lot of people raise spades even on these sort of flat shapes. It depends whether you are opening uh, a four-card major ahead of a four-card minor. If you are in the, well, I say modern style, <laughs> then uh, it's more likely partner has four spades when he opens a spade. If you open a minor, he's more like have five. Someone was about to make a point, I think. Who wanted to say something? 
I've lost. Him. Nobody. Okay. Great. Uh, so, can we hear any story, stories from the audience? Did anyone bid and make four spades? This is one of my bad ones. And I bid two spades. Oh, so who said that? One of your bad ones? Okay, you wish to remain it's anonymous, just, that's fine. James, James, James uh, we were the lucky recipients of uh, four spades double plus one. Ah, right. And how did your auction go, may I ask? Uh, I opened uh, a spade. I think uh, I think he's doubled. Um, okay. Partner raised to two two spades, and I bid four. I would say north south are blameless so far. Well, who ended up doubling this contract then? Oh, east. East, east doubled it and then and led the four of hearts. So did West bid three hearts over two spades? Oh, uh, yes, that's true. Yes, quite right. I'm sorry, double two spades, three hearts, four yes. spades. Yeah. Yes. I have sympathy with West. Uh, I, I don't have much sympathy with East, but he's, hopefully East will give us a good learning point. Adage, when you've got strength, lead length. Trump length, yeah. lead strength, yes. Have you just joined in, by the way? In the opener's suit, and yeah. maybe to four spades, you've got king nine to four. Right. Lead hearts. Leave your suit right. to cash ace and then another half. Can we just Four ask hundred. everyone who's not actually contributing to make mute themselves rather than having us overhear other people's conversations? If you're going to talk to someone else at home, please don't let us all hear it. Unless it's really good, juicy and interesting, like you're about to discuss stolen nuclear plans or something. Uh, Michael, shall we suggest some boards for you to look at? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, how about 16 and 13? Six, well, let's have a look at 16. Oh, that does look exciting because north is 6-6. Six, six. Yes, okay. So what will happen on this hand? Well, I imagine most of you opened with a preempt as West. Uh, the suit's a bit patchy for a first at red three-heart opener, but on the plus side, you do have a void and a powerful 7-4 shape. And also going for a penalty hurts a lot less when it's online because you don't have to tell your friends about it. So I imagine most of you did open three hearts as best. What should North say? Gosh, I have to say, I think I would overcall a quiet three spades, but it's tempting to do more. Some people play a, a four club overcall is too suited, clubs and, a, clubs and spades from the other major. Or some people play four hearts over three hearts to be a Michael's Cubid. Uh, that's again on the radar, although it tends to be um, making these two suited overcalls, we don't have any points, tends to work out quite badly because partner always has a good hand and takes you too high. If North did make a two suited overcall here, I think South would be entitled to bid at least five spades, maybe six off his own back. Five spades you'll get away with just losing the two clubs. Spades, I'm afraid you won't. So if we have a look at the traveller, we see quite a lot of 450s, but also some people have been doubled. Well, I have sympathy with East. They've got a load of points. Uh, five hearts has been left to play. Uh, yeah, lots of people playing five hearts. Oh, five spades redoubled, making a thousand. For those of you interested, there is a, uh, what's the word, an axiom. Popplestone's proposition, which says all redoubled contracts fulfill the score a thousand, sometimes in the plus column, sometimes in the minus. So this is one of those. I, I, I hope the uh, thousand pair are here to tell us their story, but we can see their auction was probably something like three hearts, three spades, four hearts, four spades, pass pass five hearts, five spades, pass pass double. And that would be relatively straightforward you'll notice that although east has all five clubs north south can draw two rounds of trumps and run the nine of clubs and there's no way you can stop north setting up his side suit once again we see the 10 card fit playing very easily i guess, I guess the point is how, how would north south know to bid five spades over five hearts rather than doubling that's the absolute key absolute question well, if the auction does start three hearts, three spades, four hearts, four spades, and it yeah. goes pass, pass, five hearts, yeah. That's right. South needs to be very, very suspicious. He is entitled, assuming he 
credits his opponents with seeing the vulnerability and actually knowing how good your opponents are is quite important in these events because if you're playing against two unknown people and you've never met them before you don't even know their names you might think oh maybe they've just bid badly and i should take 800 but if you credit your opponents with seeing the vulnerability then it surely means your partner is void in hearts in that case he's more likely to have six spades than five i mean generally he would have six for a three level overcall but i guess caught with the users if that's the case, if you've only got one defensive spade trick, even if you take two diamond tricks with your ace queen over the king, if partner is yeah. void of hearts, five spades will surely be a lot easier. But it's possible you might make six. So maybe South should bid five spades or pass it round to his partner, and North will certainly bid five spades with a load of extra shape. But yes, I agree, it's not so clear cut. Unfortunately, I hear so what happened to you then, sir? Uh, we, we left if five hearts doubled, which obviously was the wrong decision. Well, you still got a plus score, so 200 scored you 32 match points out of 152. So not great, no, but not no, the no. end of the world. <laughs> if they weren't going to double five spades and you were going to score 450, you'd have actually still got below average. Yeah. So but who knows what would have happened. Yeah, uh, it is hard actually, but I think probably it helps if you know your opponents. Did you know who you were playing against? No, nearly everyone no. had had ridiculous usernames. Ah, ridiculous, as in they didn't identify. Really, you want no. them to have a username that says their name, where they play, and how bad they are. That would be. Yes. Yeah. And when they bid on to the five level, you can say, "Oh, you're clearly good players, so I'm going to bid five spades over you." <laughs> uh, if we look at the flip side of the coin, we see. One pair was left to play in four hearts by West. I have to say, however many hearts West opens, North has to bid spades over it. Even if it's four hearts, I would overcall four spades. I just wouldn't feel very good about it. So a very exciting and wild deal. Were there any other tales of interest uh, on this hand that members of the audience wish to tell me? Okay, and I think the other one you suggested was 13. It was. Let's yeah. have a look at that. So if we have a look at 13, a good hand here. North is the dealer. Looks like everyone's one club opening. And then it gets a bit exciting <clears throat> because East can overcall a heart or they can overcall two no trumps if they're playing that to show the red suit. I know it's becoming more common now. Play a, a lot of people play one club could only be three cards in five card major style, or even two cards in the very modern CD5 major style. For what it's worth, I always play two no trumps over a club as showing the red suit. And the reason why is I hate having to check what a club shows before I make my bid. You say, what does a club show? And they say, no. We say, okay, I'll bid two no trumps showing the red suit. Then they open a club and you reach for two no trumps. They say, it could be two. Oh, you have to change your mind. So. Uh, I would always play two no trumps over a club as the red suits. Would I use it on this hand? Uh, probably. It's most useful for the hand, but the diamonds are better than the hearts. Um, let's say we do bid two no trumps. South may bid three spades, which in most uh, styles is played as non-forcing. And I'm sure West will just bid five diamonds, although he might even consider bidding six or making a cubid on the way. You can see that if you swap East black suit round. If you give East three little spades and avoid club, now East West can make a grand slam. But because East has three little clubs, then they can't even make game. And I think if you bid five diamonds as West, you're entitled to have a good moan when the opponents cash three clubs. Then. To beat five diamonds, North South have to be on the ball. Firstly, they have to lead the king of clubs, which is by no means obvious. You might well lead the king of spades. You might well lead a trump. And then south has to overtake the ace and play the jack back. And then north has to overtake the jack and play another one to give their partner a rough. That is not so clear. But if we look at the traveller, 640 on a spade lead, 600 on a diamond lead. They led the king of clubs, but they didn't overtake. Look, 640, 640. 11.50, oh, that is bad luck. I would have every sympathy if my opponents did that to me. I'd say, bad luck, do it again next time. 
1740. Now that really is bad luck. 190, uh, slight, slightly conservative, I would say. 1150 again. God, we're seeing all the scores here. 1390, what's the problem? Bid to six, make an over trick. So if you just bid to five diamonds and make two over tricks on the wrong lead, you might think you've got a good score, but you haven't because you haven't been doubled and you haven't made 800 either. On the flip side of the coin, <coughs> someone defended four spades for 620. That looks, oh no, 670. So two spades doubled by south. So it sounds like uh, East double for takeout and West was enjoying their afternoon nap or something. So all sorts of results here. Uh, knowing whether a double is for takeout or penalties is actually fairly crucial. I have to say, defending a 10-card fit doubled at the two level is always a bad score, no matter how many con uh, no matter how many picks it makes. Don't you agree? Yeah. Um, so that's. But it's very interesting if you look at deep finesse. Deep finesse says north south can make eight tricks and east west can make ten. And you look at the traveller, which is based in real life, and you see all sorts of craziness. So, does anyone want to volunteer a story of how they scored a wonderful score, or even better, how they conceded a terrible score on this hand? We have any volunteers? Yes, I will. And what's your name? Uh, it's Doug. Um, we're playing against Precision. And yeah. North opened two diamonds, showing a shortage in diamonds. Oh, yeah. Three suitor. Uh, okay. and I, do, you think I should, do you think I should double that to say lead a diamond? Maybe that's the... Uh, I wouldn't play double to show diamonds, actually. What do I play double? I think I play it like a multi, so an opening hand. So, no, I would probably just overcall two hearts for now. Yeah, I should have done. Um, then I would have got the do? heart lead. Yeah, I, I, I just passed and partner led a spade and they made it. We've got to leave the ace of hearts, haven't you? Hang on, what contract? Did, what did what did South bid then? Stop four spades. Uh, South bid four spades, and everyone passed, and that was six twenty. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I have every sympathy actually. Uh, I think precision two diamonds is really uh, annoying, and also you don't get to defend it against it that often. But the general style when they open these stupid bids is that <laughs> um, you should try and get your auction back on track as quickly as possible by um, sort of doing something your partner knows. So if you'd overcall two hearts, yeah. your partner knows broadly how strong you are and what your longest suit is. And it's not ideal, but when they bid four spades a south, he certainly will do something. He might double four spades, which just yeah. shows a strong yeah. hand, and you can take it out to five diamonds. And now at least you're back on something resembling normality. But yes, I agree, it's much harder for you guys. They got to four spades very quickly. I have, but yes, I wouldn't pass two diamonds at least. No. The way you should look at it is the more bids you make, the better value for money you get out of your BBO dollars or table money. Or <laughs> Whereas if Thank you just you. pass, you say, oh, I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, so yeah, that's, that's tricky. Uh, so you were rewarded with two match points, were you? Yeah, because at so. least you didn't concede 670 like the others. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't mind the Trump lead at all. You know, it does look as if they're going to be doing some roughing, so that is unlucky. Yeah, any other tales of excitement from this hand? Um, Ian Kemp, I see we again. have several junior players. I, oh, yeah, who was that? Ian Kemp again. Um, oh, no, we already heard from you. Let's have someone else. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, well, you. you um, we, we got to five spades doubled minus 800, so I thought you might at least like to enjoy that. Oh, actually, yeah, it was worth hearing that, good. Yeah, the defenders took all their tricks, but even 800 would have scored you, if I see, you. oh, you got 17, you got 17 match points, so, yeah, not in the world. Right, let's see if we can find another one. Does anyone have any other interesting hands? That's, um, I'll just... Go back to the beginning and scroll through. Oh, I see hand three. We've got an eight card suit. Four spades look straightforward, but north south can save. Did anyone find the save here? Oh, someone making three clubs doubled as usual. Um, so, our hand three, a possible auction is west opens with either a weak no trump or a club or something. Then east will bid four spades fairly briskly. Um, 
perhaps the only way your staff can get into the auction is if East transfers to spades and North is able to double two spades for taker. But again, when East bids four spades, South with a balanced hand wouldn't normally bid over it. So we see only a couple of people have got their opponents to the five level, as you would expect. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. This looks like a normal-ish spade hand. Most people playing in spades with a few over tricks. A couple of people are in a slam. Should we be in a slam? I can't help noticing we have a few slightly club-related issues to play in a slam. But very few people have led the ace. Uh, a lot is written about leading aces against slams. Basically, you should be more inclined to lead an ace against the slam if your opponents are bad, because the partner's more likely to have the king. Uh, this hand is a perfect example of why. If you don't, you concede uh, an overtrick in a slam, and if you do, you score plus 100. So, a lesson learned, perhaps. Did anyone concede a slam or make a slam on this deal? Silence. Okay. Interesting. None of the, well, I suppose we only had a few results. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Mm, gloss over looks like a boring part score. Let's see if we can find one where lots of tricks were making. Were there any legitimate slams? Can I suggest 25? 25. You can suggest 25, but only if you tell me your name. Chris Tucker. Thank you, Chris Tucker from... From Burnham Somewhere. near Slough, South Bucks. Burnham near Slough, good middle England, wonderful. Uh, right, board 25, East West can make six spades. Is it a good contract? Yes. So, can I ask, <laughs> would you open three clubs on the north hand? Yes, that's an easy question. Yes, I would. Yeah. Being the dealer at Green Vulnerability is a powerful weapon. And although you only have a six card suit, you have 100% of your high cards in your suit. So it's perfect to preempt and strike an early blow. It probably won't work here. It'll probably go double past four spades. East will choose to bid on. But it might do, because East might be worried by the two little clubs. An auction will probably be something like two no trumps, three hearts transfer, and a break to four spades. Now, I have to say it's not automatic for West to bid on a, over that with A, a flat pin count, and B, spades out of the Hammer's House of Horrors, two, three, five, seven, eight. What makes this a good slam is the perfect mesh in the red suits, King, Queen, Doubleton, facing Ace, Jack to four. If we take those two hearts that East has and make them a little club and a little diamond, slam has uh, no play at all. So it is slightly fortunate, 30 points and a nine card fit, two completely flat hands. But that's what bridge is all about. If you bid to a slam and make it and you say good judgment, and then when you change the east hand slightly, you just guess not to bid a slam, you say also good judgment. So how many people did bid a slam? We've got one, two, three, four, five, 1,700, we'll ignore them. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the laws of probability tell me that one of those pairs to have bid a slam must be here with us this morning. So would you like to tell us how you bid a slam, somebody? Nobody bid a slam. Yeah, I bid a slam. Oh, who, who was that who said they bid a slam? And then we'll come back to uh, that point. Hi, Doug. Yeah, I, I didn't break the transfer, but perhaps I should have done, like you said, because the jack of spades doesn't really count as a, as a point. Um, uh, I was a minimum 20, so I thought well, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, you do have 100 for others, but yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we went two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps. Three hearts transfer. Three oh, were you playing Benjaminized Akol? Yeah, part of the place two no trumps is five five in the minors. So, oh, I see. Okay. And then I bid four spades over his three no trumps, and he went on. That's with Black um, Blackwood. We normally say when that works, we say that's a good view. Yeah, a good uh, view. when it doesn't work, I tend to have more colourful phrases. <laughs> um, 
but I don't think they're repeatable before 9 p.m. on a, a Saturday night uh, on Channel 4. Uh, so I have to say I would have broken the transfer, but I, you know, I understand why not. We do have a low doubleton and concentrated honours. I think your yeah. part of bidding on over four spades is absolutely bonkers. Because most of the time your spades will be, you know, King Jack Small or something. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, they're very weak spades, aren't they? Uh, anyway, Ben, what were you going to say? We had the auction 2N from East, three hearts, then three spades, three players showing support. Um, three N's oh, so you do this thing where three hearts forcing the game and then three no trump yeah. denies a fit, three spades shows one. Yeah. Okay. So then we had three N Sam try from West. Right. Um, a, a Q of four diamonds from East. Yep. Which South doubled for lead and then West with four spades. And Sa West South was on lead. Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, he doubled it to, to remind himself, yeah. Um, and then West um, bid four spades and that's where our auction finished. Did we have an option? Right. Uh, you were East, were you? Uh, yeah. And who was West? My brother. I was. Good. And you're here. Good. Uh, I always like to know if the person I'm about to slag off is, is listening to what I'm about to say. Um, when four diamonds is doubled, you shouldn't get cold feet. The best thing to do is to pass it round to your partner because he can redouble if his control is the ace and he can sign off in four spades if it's not. Here, it's actually quite tricky. He will probably sign off in, well, he might bid four hearts. Uh, and that might allay your fears slightly. Um, but the problem is when you bid four spades, it does suggest you don't have a heart control and you wish to shut up shop. I mean, here he's got a minimum hand and slam is cold. But it is difficult, but you shouldn't let the opponents talk you out of what you're going to do. Had they bid four diamonds, and it, uh, when your brother bids four diamonds, had they passed, what bid were you going to make? Um, I'd probably have bid... Four, four hearts, uh, you say, to show a heart control. No, I'd probably do four N, maybe. That ah, right. So you were about to force to a slam, then the opponents made a bid and you got cold feet. Um, so I think you, you should um, not allow them to talk you out of your slam like that. It is difficult, especially when people on lead make lead directly double. But when you sign off in four spades when we're up to four diamonds doubled, it takes away a lot of bidding room and your partner probably won't be bidding on. The other point I was going to make is, even if you do play transfers as game forcing, two no trumps pass, three hearts pass, you can bid three spades to show a fit, is a, a popular method. Um, you can still break the transfer. Showing the fit normally shows three and breaking the transfer shows four. So you had that option over three hearts anyway. But it's not such an easy slam to bid. I suspect the people that did bid it sort of flipped a coin and said, oh, well, it's a Saturday, I'll bid Blackwood. It's a Sunday, I'll pass or something. So not so easy at all. See someone played in three no trumps. That was a, a good view, as they say. Now, five diamonds doubled by South. If only we had that pair here today. Oh, well. Uh, let's move on. Are there any other interesting hands that you know about, if you can tell me? Let's see if we can see another slam or one. Oh, is this a slam? On board, <laughs> on board, Sorry, seven, on board seven. 17, our opponents ended up doubled off two in six spades. Which... Oh, that sounds fun. Although I can't help noticing their trump holding is modest in nature for a slam. So I shall assume they had... Oh, quite a lot of people were getting a bit too high. Good Lord. Let's have a look at this hand. So north is the dealer, so surely pass, pass, oh, I see south will open two clubs, north will give a positive and then it all gets a bit messy. Um, it does feel like Blackwood should keep you at a safe level, although a heart lead will actually beat four or five spades if north is playing it. What was their auction then, just so, so we can learn and not laugh at them? They're not here, are they, by the way? Um, I don't think so. don't think so. Okay. It's always a good important skill to have when you have a, a board with a story or an opponent do something terrible you should write down their names so you can mention it to them as often as possible when you meet them later. Hey, go on then. Um, South opened one heart. I bid three clubs. Yeah. North doubled. Um, yeah. 
my partner raced to four. Then they did five clubs, pass, six spades. Pass, pass, double. Right. Pass, pass, one hard. Three clubs we describe as enterprising because it caused a good board, although it's not a great bid because you do have two defensive picks. Having said that, your partner is a past hand and you have avoided hearts, so fair. North double is fine. Uh, East bit of four clubs, I'm afraid that's a bit too spicy for me. I mean, I agree you probably think your opponents will make a lot of tricks in spades, but sometimes they will just double it and you'll put down your two jacks and amazingly enough, you'll go off and get a terrible score. Is anyone playing clubs? How many tricks are we making in clubs? You say, oh, we've only got two diamonds and two clubs to lose. Not so fast. The opponents lead trumps. But even if they don't lead trumps, they can lead trumps later on, and you're left with four diamonds and two clubs and a spade to choose. Club lead, diamond, yeah. So four clubs doubled would not have been very fun. Well, not for you, anyway. Michael, uh, I've got... Convinced... Yeah, Michael, um... I've got... Michael, it's Richard Acaster. I know, I can see your smiling yeah, face, Richard. That's, that's great. I've got an interesting story about this hand. It was played again, we played it against uh, Justin Hackett and Martin. Um, okay, so Martin, for those of you who don't know Justin Martin, Justin is one of the country's leading players, and Martin is... Ma Martin was Hang bidding. On. Martin was bidding. He opened a heart, um, yep. got a response from, um, from Justin, but he bid three diamonds. A heart, um, so it was it a heart pass a spade past three diamonds? Yeah, three diamonds. Okay. Uh, and then they played in three no trumps. They got to three no trumps and played in three no trumps for a brilliant score. Oh, <laughs> that's rather cruel and unfair. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is actually a, a bad hand for standard methods after a heart pass a spade. Uh, you're too yeah. strong to rebid yeah. three hearts, so actually rebidding three diamonds is not so foolish. I think mm. probably West should have overcalled two clubs. Right. Um, you don't quite have enough points in the traditional sense, often 10 is quoted, but you do have a void and you've got quick tricks and your partner has already passed. Mm. So there isn't much danger he's going to leap to three trumps or anything. If you had overcalled two clubs, I suspect North South would just have played in four hearts. So it's right. just four hearts can make, but after ace, king, the spade rough, I'm sure South will cash the ace of hearts. And now, oh no. I think you can do a clever play now if you're in four hearts. Ace, king, and a spade rough. East exits with something, and you cash the ace of hearts. Disaster, you say. East has five to the ten remaining. But you cash the ace of clubs, king of diamonds, ace of diamonds. Then you cash the king of clubs. And you'll notice your last five cards are the... Oh, hang on. You, haven't, you, haven't, you need to rough in your hand. That doesn't work. Okay, everything I said just failed, but never mind. It would have been a very pretty ending otherwise. You would have led a winning spade from dummy and East roughs and you over rough and make it contact. Oh, well. Uh, did anyone hold the North South cards and bid to a sensible contract? Uh, we bid to four hearts and made it. Very good. How did you make it? Uh, my partner was playing it, so I can't remember exactly. <laughs> your partner made a contract with Trumps for 6 nil, and you didn't bother yeah. looking at the play? Oh dear, you'll have to go back and say, well played partner, I've just realised you had six Trumps out. Uh, no, I, I did do that. I did say well played. Yeah. Uh, okay, I hope you said it genuinely. <laughs> rather. I've noticed that a lot of the people, it's one of the things that drives me mad, a lot of people nod off during the play and they wake up and they say well played if partner made it, they say nothing if they went down, but actually well played is supposed to be uh, indicative of fine declared play and not necessarily emerging with a good result. Okay, let's go back to 29, which does appear to be a slam for the north-south. Six clubs, oh, come for five nil. Oh, you don't have many points either. Well, it does look like an explosive deal. If we check the Traveller of Justice, we see Mostly north south making game, but a few exciting hands. Two hearts doubled by east. That was a good view. Uh, we see five clubs going down. Somebody took them off the place. Three hearts doubled. <laughs> Someone did bid and make six clubs by south. Very impressive on a trump lead. I suppose forewarned of the bad break, they played on a some sort of cross rush, did they? 
one. Three diamond tricks and a cub trick is four. Three roughs in each hand is four, seven, ten. Well, they did very well to make that. Very well indeed. Did anyone do something good on this board or have a tale of woe to share with the group? No, you're all played in game. You're all sensible people. You just turned up, took your 660 and your 100 match points. Okay, well, let's try another hand then. Let's see, number 30. North South can make a lot of hearts. Did we bid to a lot of hearts? Yes, we did. The field appeared to have bid sensibly. One person in a slam, two persons in a slam. Slam... Uh, yes, yeah, bit deficient of aces to make a slam, really, although that never stopped anyone. Did anyone get too high on this board, or did you all bid sensibly to four hearts? I shall assume the universal silence means you all played in four hearts. Let's, let's see if we can find another good one. We had a tale of woe on board 15. Ah, okay, let's hear that. Was that William speaking? Yeah. Okay, and who was your partner, William? Dominic. And he is with us here to mo this morning, isn't he? Yeah, but it, it was my fault, to be fair. Still maintaining that beard. Okay, go on, let's uh, hear what's happened. Um, I opened one spade on the west cards, and north jumped to four hearts. Uh, no fine to me. And uh, okay. my partner doubled. Uh, yep. And I foolishly passed it out. It wasn't very clever. Uh, that is foolish if you knew what the double meant. What did you think the double meant? Well, uh, I wasn't really thinking very straight and thought north, south are vulnerable, so 500 is a great score. Minus 1190 was not such a good score. Well, I'm glad you've shown a fine appreciation of the scoring table. Yes, minus 1190 was worth uh, zero, zero match points. That's a shame. Even lost the 850s and the four... 1190? Did we... Uh, where, where did our two diamond tricks go? Uh, Dominic led the ace and yeah. then switched. Right. Um... It was completely safe to play the king, because if North had three for the queen, your partner can rough the third round. <coughs> now, how many match points would 990 have got you? That would have got you 13 match points. You see, the moral of the story is don't give up when you can see your partner's made a ridiculous bid and dummy has got lots of points and you're going to get a terrible score. Because if you do that, you'll get an even worse score. Um, yes, it's a very interesting point. One spade, four hearts, double. Uh, at club level, which is the euphemism for bad level, uh, that would universally be played as penalties. It would be showing the opponents a sharp lesson. And indeed, if you go back in time, that's how it would have been. But the trouble with that is that you don't pick up a hand where you want to teach them a sharp lesson very often. Let's say we swap the south and the east cards, and east has four, ace, jack, ten, seven of hearts. You might get the opponents down, but you have five card support for your partner anyway. So it's much better to play the double of four hearts, just shows points. It says, oh, I've got, broadly speaking, an opening hand to go with your opening hand. If you've got an average hand, a flat hand, just pass it out and we'll take a small plus score. If you've got a shapely hand, take it out. And here, West has an easy four spade bid with uh, six nice spades and so forth. Given the bad trump break, four spades has to go down, but I think you'll agree that is significantly better than minus 1190. Yeah. Although, yeah. South might have bid on to five hearts, and you might have doubled that and competed 850, which would be a perfectly reasonable result. Uh, that would be worth 34 match points, broadly 20% uh, of the board. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when both sides have a good fit, it's normally right to bid on. Here we can see the disaster results, the worst result for East-West, sorry, the best result for East-West was the pair who played in four spades doubled and were allowed to make it. Um, it does look as if 
it should go down two spades a half in a club, but nevertheless, defending four spades doubled was bad. And the best score for North South was in fact 1190 from the people that, uh, unnamed people, William and Dom, uh, that defended an 11 card heart fit. So when both sides have a bid fit, it's often right to bid on. A lot of bridge is psychological. Here, one of the reasons why you passed the double of four hearts was not because you thought it was penalties, it was because you wanted it to be penalties. Yeah. And if it had been penalties, it meant you were getting a top on the board. If your partner happened to have a penalty double and North and misjudged, you were going to get a great score. And that's probably why. Whereas if you bid four spades, even if partner has the hand you want, you're not guaranteed a good score. You're only guaranteed to make the right bid. So it was all, all in your head, I'm afraid. Uh, did anyone else have an interesting tale on this story? Uh, Gail Webb, I can see you there. Do you have a story on this hand? No, because I didn't play last night, so yesterday, so... <laughs> yeah, well, make one up then. We wouldn't have <laughs> known. Yeah, I'm just Maybe thinking, I'm glad, uh, glad I wasn't in William's seat and made the same mistake. That's what I was okay. thinking. Well, you'll know for next time. Yeah. Any other hands of interest that people want to raise, or should I just pick one at random? 18. Hand 18, let's have a look. Right, what happened to you on hand 18 then? Uh, my partner opened one no trump, and um, uh, West uh, passed. Mm. And Rather eccentric. I didn't transfer to the minor, and of course West ran off all those heart winners. So, so did you did you pass one no Trump then? Yeah, well, I passed it out. So would you transfer to a minor on my hand? I have to say, at Teams Bridge, I would be tempted to raise one no Trump to three no Trumps, actually. Yeah. Um, at Airs Bridge, I think I certainly would transfer, yes. And if part of the light diamonds, I might consider bidding three no Trumps. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not used to playing against these masters of subtlety and deception that pass when they pick up a six card solid suit against a no trump. It never seems to work for me. So were you just one off in a no trump then? Uh, we were two off in the end. Ah. Which didn't score too well. I can't help noticing your partner may have heard six hearts. I see. West switched to a spade after six hearts, did That's he? That's it, yeah. Of that sharp defence, that's yeah. very cruel. Yeah. So you lost what it is called the kiss of death. Minus 200 is known, the, there you are, the kiss of death at pairs. Well, you still scored 21 match points, so not the end of the world. <laughs> Did anyone else have their opponents not bid hearts? Uh, we, we yeah, it's the same as our table that I know Tom got passed out. Uh, what's your name? James. James. And where are you from, James? I'm from Hampshire. Another Hampshire player. Great. Yeah, life south of Manchester. Uh, yeah, that covers quite a lot of you, actually. Um, so, again, West ran six hearts, and did he find the spade switch? Yeah, well, well De Blair was having problems with discards in both I mean, his hands. Um, it became quite clear. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, cruel world, I have to say. I did one for the solid eight cards. I think it was spades. It was, in a, it was in the World Championships in Orlando, and I passed a strong no trump, and they got to four hearts, and I bid four spades, and they bid five hearts. And they were called for a slam, but they didn't quite bid it. And four spades were going for 800 anyway, because my solid suit wasn't very solid. So... At the end of the hand, my partner stuck his head under the screen and said, are you having fun over there? Uh, he wasn't very impressed with my call. It rarely succeeds in my view, but <laughs> this is the right vulnerability to try it, because you might get 200. If North-South were non-vulnerable, losing 100 would be no disaster at all. Although I think North should have transferred to Diamonds. So there we go. If you do transfer diamonds and South can bid three diamonds to say he likes diamonds. West will probably bid three hearts now anyway. <coughs> and North should take some action, perhaps double or four diamonds. Double is the winning call to get one off for a very good score. If you bid four diamonds, I think you go one down. Yeah. 
assuming the defence find the right defensive heart, heartless fade switch. Uh, one point I would like to raise defensively, we've talked a lot about the bidding. If West is defending a diamond contract by South and he leads the Ace of Hearts and then the King of Hearts, whatever um, card he leads on the first round, when he cashes the second top heart, East must drop the Ten of Hearts as a suit preference signal saying, please switch to the high-ranking suit. Because how does West know whether to play a club or a spade? So if you're just defending a diamond part score, you cast the ace or the king of hearts and then the other top part, East drops the 10 on the second round, saying switch to the higher-ranking suit. Um, and that will beat four diamonds. If we look at the Traveller, we see a few people have beaten four diamonds, some people haven't. 130, one, yes, here we go. Heart lead, three of hearts lead to the something, cash the other heart, and we got the wrong switch. It's like 130 again, 130, 130, 130, 130, 130, yes, quite a few 130s. Okay, any other hands of interest you'd like me to go through? Quite a lot of silent participants with no camera and no sound. Um, Sharon, do you have any hand you want me to go through? You could just hold up your fingers if you can't. Oh, um, no, not really. I think you've gone through the ones that uh, were interesting. Uh, well, haunted you. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of the higher numbered ones. That's uh, some interest there. Let's see if we can find. I like to see one where the traveller is littered on both sides. Let's have a look. Oh, another preempt. Ah, now this is an interesting hand because we've got some people in a pot score and some people in a slam. So, board 40. West, with 18 points, will open. I predict everyone in the world opened a heart. Oh, now, apart from that precision pair who opened a club. So we open a heart. What happens then? North will bid a spade. Does East have enough to bid two clubs? Uh, probably not, but I don't think that should let him stop him because he's got a seven cards to... Um, when you make these marginal bids, the question you should say to yourself is, if the next hand raises to four spades, am I happy with the message I told partner? I think East should bid two clubs, and now when South bids four spades, West will take some action. If he doubles showing a strong hand, East will bid five clubs, or West may take the view to raise clubs because his partner is short in spades and has a long suit. Six clubs is completely cold, isn't it? So it is worth bidding. North-South can save in six spades for 800, but that's not obvious. Don't think we've got any six spades. We do have a couple of slams. So does anyone want to tell us your option on board 40? Let's see, who can I victimise? Who have we not heard from so far? Emily Garden, do you remember your contract on board 40? Uh, yes, I do. Um, it was one heart, one speed by North. It was doubled by East. Okay. Four, four spades by my partner, doubled by the opposition, Joe D. And, and that it was, was out in the double. That, oh, so that's probably quite a good score for you because you will have gone two down, did you? One down for 91%. One down. So where did you steal your magic trick, Emily? Oh gosh, no. That's a question. I think it was even me that played it. It uh, was. <laughs> uh, I somehow well, managed to get rid of a, a losing, or they didn't take their, their second heart. Well, I'm uh, going to pretend that you've just told me how you played it and credit you with a great play. What Emily did was when the Ten of Hearts was led, low from the dummy, king from west, she dropped the queen, pretending she held a singleton. Oh, now, that's this old trick doesn't work that often, but here you'll notice that your other heart is the nine. So there is yeah. no legitimate way for West to know who has got the singleton heart. In fact, he will probably say to himself, 
my partner must have only a singleton spade, therefore he's probably got the doubleton heart. And he will switch to something, diamonds or clubs, or pumps. And then later on, Emily will cross to the dummy, play a low heart off the table, and Wes again will duck, because he doesn't want to put his honor up and have it roughed away. Which is That's probably the wrong logic. And I got, is that what happened? That's what happened. I got throwaways on the jack and the eight of hearts. Eventually. Well done. So that was uh, a good, a good trick to know. And that play would have made a big difference because minus one was worth one hundred and thirty nine match points to north south, whereas minus two, one hundred and five. So it's the difference between. Well, if my maths is right. 90% score and minus two would have been about a 66% score broadly speaking so well done always goes to show even though you've achieved a good thing in the bidding you can back it up with some fine play I have to say on your auction I think E should take it out to five clubs Agreed. once again <laughs> partner doubles for a major it's not going to be uh, based on the ace king queen jack of spades it's just going to be a, a strong hand so five clubs making would have been a uh, five clubs making over trip would have been a good score for east west even missing the slam would have been 65 percent ish uh, just by buying the hand so there we go <coughs> well Conveniently, I think Gordon has appeared to tell us we're running out of time, which coincides with my voice going as well. Yes, it sounds like a great time to say thank you very much to Michael, who as always has not only been uh, interesting, but also amusing. So thank you for giving up your morning and having not even played in it, managing to anticipate so well what people seem to have done. One more thing I would like to say is that tomorrow's uh, Ask and talk with an expert. It's going to be with Norman Selway and Kay Preddy. So you're going to get two experts for the price of one tomorrow. Uh, same time, 11 o'clock, I'll send a link out um, in the same way as I did today. So hope you're all enjoying yourself and continue to enjoy the rest of the summer meeting. Thank you, Michael. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.